Uh, we have growing chaos aside from the Republican primary that's going on. We have growing chaos on the left, and this is within the Democratic primary, but also on the left outside of it. Let's talk a little bit about Bobby Kennedy Jr. and Cornell West. Couple interesting articles. Let's start with Cornell West. There is an article in uh, The Hill by Hannah Trudeau, which says Democratic jitters grow over Cornell West's third party bid. Uh, and the article writes Cornell West's third party presidential campaign is stirring up unpleasant flashbacks to 2016 for members of the Democratic Party, some of whom are growing anxious about the effect it could have on Biden's reelection. West, a philosopher, Ivy League academic, and leftist, recently announced he is newly registered with the Green Party as he seeks to challenge Biden and the eventual Republican nominee for the White House. Now, some prominent figures supporting Biden, from the head of the DNC to veteran campaign hands, are already sounding the alarm about his quixotic White House run. Quote, this is not the time in order to experiment, said DNC chairman Jamie Harrison. Harrison. This is not the time to play around on the margins. Seven years ago, when Hillary lost to Trump, many blamed Jill Stein, the Green Party nominee, as a factor that contributed to her defeat. Heading into 24, Democrats worry West could emerge a similar spoiler by earning just enough votes to fracture the coalition Biden needs to win. Uh, I believe that that is a mathematically reasonable thing to worry about. Uh, I think the case for Cornell West is really weak, like really, really weak. And in practice, all he can really do is help Donald Trump. Now, I know all of the theoretical philosophizing about, well, we need this and we need that in order to uh, obtain ballot access and then funding and all these different things. I'm with it. I want multiple strong parties in the United States. I don't love the Green Party for reasons I've said before, but that's not what this is about. We have to understand, guys, do you remember 2016? Do you remember 2016 when I and many others were saying, folks, we can't play around the margins, as Jamie Harrison is saying here? We can't play around the margins. If Trump wins, he will get one, two, three Supreme Court picks, and we may have a right wing Supreme Court for a generation. They'll go after abortion rights, they'll go after voting rights. Oh, David, sir, I'm not going to cry because what you're saying is overblown. It's not going to happen. It happened. It happened. It is not about blame. It's about math. And so right now, are we really going to risk doing the same thing again? Are we really going to do that again and potentially see a Trump or DeSantis presidency, which in, in the next segment, we're, we're going to talk to Ruth Ben Ghiat about uh, the authoritarian dystopia that that would be. Is that really what we're going to do? OK, so that's Cornell West. Meanwhile, we have the Bobby Kennedy campaign. There is a whacked out article in page six about how he had a sort of ritzy Upper East Side dinner and it devolved into farting. I, I'm not exaggerating here. It devolved into farting. A guy named, hold on, what was his name? Former gossip columnist Doug Deckert became, here's a picture of the guy. He became enraged when the topic of climate change came up during this Bobby Kennedy fundraising dinner. He called it a hoax. And then he let rip a loud, prolonged fart while yelling as if to underscore his point. I'm farting at that point. The room, including former congressman and guest of this program, Dennis Kucinich, seemed stunned and unsure about whether Deckert was farting directed at someone else or in general at global warming. All right. It's a wacky, wacky, wacky article and a crazy thing. But the point here is there is a lot happening within the Democratic primary and on the margins of it that seemingly can only help Donald Trump or Ron DeSantis become the next president of the United States. All I want, I support everything everybody does. I love everything and I love everyone. I just want us to really keep in mind that all of this nonsense might get Trump or DeSantis elected, and that would be really bad for the United States and for the world. OK, make sure you're subscribed on YouTube. Make sure you're following me on threads. The show is on TikTok. We're everywhere. Follow us. It's all free. It's all really helpful to us.